From his early hits with the James Gang, through to his tenure with the Eagles, as well as a successful solo career, Joe Walsh remained one of the most colorful characters in rock and roll, lending his distinctively reedy vocals, off-the-wall lyrics, and expansive guitar leads to a series of AOR staples, including Funk 49, Rocky Mountain Way, and Life's Been Good. Born November 20, 1947 in Wichita, Kansas, Walsh initially studied the oboe and clarinet, later playing bass in local bands with the G-Cluffs and the Nomads. While attending Kent State University, he finally picked up the guitar, fronting the collegian combo The Measles from 1965 to 1969. He then joined the Cleveland-based hard rock trio The James Gang, appearing on their debut LP, Your Album. The trio's 1970 album, The James Gang Rides Again, proved the group's commercial breakthrough, launching the FM radio favorite Funk No. 49 and achieving gold status. While the following thirds was another success yielding the classic Walk Away, Walsh found the James Gang's power trio format too confining and left the group soon after. After relocating to Colorado, Walsh formed a new group, Barnstorm, recording a self-titled 1972 LP before making his proper solo debut the following year with The Smoker You Drink, The Player You Get. The record cracked the top 10 on the string of the pop hit Rocky Mountain Way and was followed in 1974 by So What? In the wake of 1976's You Can't Argue With a Sick Mind, Walsh replaced guitarist Bernie Leadon in the hugely popular West Coast rock quintet The Eagles, making his debut on their best-selling Hotel California album. He also continued his solo career issuing, but seriously folks, in 1978, the record's highlight. The hilarious Life's Been Good, a dead-on portrait of rock star debauchery, became his biggest pop hit, nearly reaching the top ten. In 1979, Walsh announced his campaign for President of the United States, promising free gas for everyone. If he won, he didn't. The Eagles' final studio album, the chart-topping The Long Run, appeared that same year. The soundtrack to film Urban Cowboy generated Walsh's next solo smash, All Night Long, which cracked the top 20 in the summer of 1980, although 81's There Goes the Neighborhood featured his final top 40 entry, A Life of Illusion, he continued recording steadily, resurfacing in 1983 with You Bought It, You Name It, and issuing The Confessor two years later. In between, Walsh ran for the vice presidency again unsuccessfully. Following 1987's Got Any Gum, he toured with Ringo Starr and his all-star band, returning to his solo career for 1991's Ordinary Average Guy. In 1994, he joined the Reunited Eagles for their blockbuster Hell Freezes Over tour and remained on the road as a solo act for years to come. In 2012, after years touring with the Eagles and writing new material, Walsh recorded his first solo album with producer extraordinaire Jeff Lynne, yes, of Electric Light Orchestra, and Beatles drummer Ringo Starr. A comeback of sorts, the album title Analog Man pertained to Walsh's difficulties catching up to a new standard of digital recording as a 64-year-old and trying to adjust to technological advances in society. Joe Walsh has probably used every guitar in existence at one time or another. In the early days, he and Felder alternated between Telecasters and Les Pauls. If Felder were playing a single coil guitar like a Stratocaster, Walsh would frequently play a humbucker guitar like a Les Paul so that they would have two distinct sounds. Since the Hell Freeze is over in subsequent tours, Walsh has played a slew of different guitars, but he notably used a black Rickenbacker for slide work and has been a longtime endorser of Carbon Guitars. Various Gretsch and Duesenberg guitars regularly make their way into the set as well. For acoustics, Walsh used various Takamine and Gibsons. With the Eagles, Joe primarily played Fender Blackface Deluxes and Tweed Deluxes, although a Mesa Boogie Mark I can be seen behind him on the Hotel California tour. He used a Roland Cube for his talk box as well as some slide work, including on the long run. On the Hell Freezes Over Tour, a Fender Blues Deluxe, a PV Head, and a Dr. Z 2x10 cab can be seen behind him. Since then, his amps are almost too numerous to list, but he seems to be fond of a Dr. Z Naz 38 2x10 as well as a Z Lux. Although not an Eagles tune, Joe Walsh is said to have played a Telecaster into a cranked up Fender Champ to achieve the tone on the James Gang's classic track, Funk No. 49. The talk box was probably Walsh's most famous effect. 
used on songs like Rocky Mountain Way and Those Shoes. This has become a signature of his. During the recording of Hotel California, he supposedly used an MXR Phase 90 and an Echoplex. 